Okay, good evening. Uh, day number 10. Let's, let's get right into it. Alright, so number one, how many three fifth pound turkey burger patties can be made from four and four fifth pounds of ground turkey? I thought about changing this problem because the idea of turkey burgers seems gross to me. But I don't know, some people might like turkey burgers, so we'll let it stay. So how many of these three fifth burger patties, and let's let's say that this is one. Okay, there's our burger patty, and this is three fifths of a pound. How many of these can we make from four and four fifths pounds of ground turkey? Well, this is fractions, and I don't really want to work with fractions that much, so let's turn these into decimals. We can say three fifths. That's 0.6 or 0.60. And we have 4 and 4 fifths. Well, that would be 4. And 4 fifths would be 0.80. If you don't believe me, you can divide top end, bottom out, and you'll see we get 0.8. So now, how many of these 0.60 burgers can fit into this 480? Hopefully you figured out, we just need to divide that. If we say, how many times can 0.60 go into, wait, how many times can, yeah, how many times can 0.60 go into 480? And let's just, well, let's put in 60. And then we can say we've got an extra zero, so we can just cross them out. Or you could have never put them there in the first place, and we would have gotten the same result. Now we don't want to divide by a decimal, so we move this over one, so now we're dividing by six, and six is going into 48. So move that decimal the same number of places too. So how many times does six go into 48? Well, that's just eight times. So how many gross turkey burgers can you make? You can make eight gross turkey burgers. And again, I don't, I don't think I've ever had a turkey burger, so sort of just being a little bit prejudiced against them but look at that that doesn't look as good as a regular burger seriously okay that's it there's our answer so number two okay volleyball volleyball team won 83 and one third percent of their games last season if they played 18 games how many did they lose so there's really there's a couple ways we can do this. Let's let's stick with the percent it gives us. Let's focus on what on what they won. So let's see how many games they won. So there's a percent, so we can compare it as games won as compared to games played, which would also be considered the total. And we can make a little proportion here. We can say the total percent is always 100. And the percent they won was 83. And let's let's see what's going to happen. Let's just ignore this one third. It's one third of percent, probably not going to make that much of a difference. Let's just try it with point, or just 83 percent. Save ourselves a little bit of work. They played 18 games, so that would go down on the bottom. And we just want to figure out how many of those they won. So we can cross multiply this. We can say what is 83 times 18. And we can multiply through here. This would be 24 and 66. We can go to the second digit, bring down a 0. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 8 is 8. Add this up, and we get 4, 9, 14. So 1,494, we need to take that, we need to divide it by 100. And we can divide this if we like. I don't, I don't really like dividing by 100 because that seems a little bit silly to me. I'm just going to put a decimal here, and I'm going to move it over one, two places. And then I'm going to move this one over one, two places. And I'm going to say, how many times can one go into 1494? Well, that would just be 14.94 places. Or, yeah, 14.94. So 
So this would represent the games they won. They won 14.94 games. And now we can think about it. We dropped a third of a percent, so our number is a little bit lower. So if we round this up to the nearest whole number, we can say they won 15 games. And then we just go back, we consider the, the, the question, how many did they lose? Well, if you played 18 games and you won 15 of them, how many did you lose? Well, that would just be 18 total games minus the games you won. And we're left behind with three games that they lost. And there's our answer. Now we could have we could have done the subtraction at the beginning. Instead of looking at 83%, we could have subtracted that from 100. So if we did 100 minus 83, and we get about 17%. And then we could have made a proportion comparing games lost to games played, and we would have we would have still gotten three. Another way you could have seen this. If you know your fractions pretty well, we, would, we should be able to recognize that 83 and one third percent, that's just another way of saying 5 6. And if you don't believe me, you can divide out 5 6 and see what you get. You get 0 0.83, 0 0.33 repeating. And if you won 5 out of 6 games, we could say how many games is that out of 18? And then this is just a matter of doing times 3. And 5 times 3 is 15, and we would have gotten our same number. So different ways to look at this depending on how much you know. All right, so that's it. So number, number 3, Christina walked once around her block. Okay, Her block had a width of 420 meters and a length of 510 meters. How many kilometers did Christian walk? Oh, suddenly we have different names. That's the typo. Uh, let's Christina, Christian, Chris, uh, uh, Bobby. Yeah. I didn't want to decide on one or the other, so now their name is Bobby, and it's a girl Bobby. Okay, so Bobby walks around the block. And we want to know how many kilometers is that? So let's let's draw the block. Okay. So 420 meters wide and a length of 510. And now, but since it wants it in kilometers, we need to go from meters to kilometers. So in case you're so American like me and you're not really sure how to go from meters to kilometers and you don't have a blue paper with you, well, that's why we have Google. So if you Google how many meters in a kilometer, and you can see that one kilometer is 1,000 meters. So now we have our key. We have one, one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. And so now, because metric is cool like that, to go from kilometers to meters, we just have to consider how does this decimal place move? Well, to go from kilometers to meters, it looks like it moves one, two, three places. And to go from meters to kilometers, we would have to move it three places to the left. So if I take 420 and I move it one, two, three places to the left, now I have point or let's let's copy our block here so we can say this is exactly the same as saying point 42 kilometers we can do the same thing for 510 if here's our decimal place we move it back one two three places and so that's going to be point 51 kilometers and there are our measurements so let's see, what is the question asking us? If we walk around the block, we walk all the way around, we want to know how far is that? Well, what, what are we measuring? 
Well, if we're going around the outside of the block, that's perimeter. We're just adding up all the sides. So we can fill in the rest. This is 0.51, this is 0.42, and then we just have to add them up. So what is 0.42 plus 0.42 plus 0.51 plus 0.51? And that'll give us 6, and this is 8, 13, 18, and we have one left over. Our decimals are all lined up when we add or subtract, so we get 1.86 kilometers. That is how far she walked. There you go. And for those of you saying 1.86 kilometers, what is that? Well, that's why we have Google. We can go back to Google and we can say, type this in here. 1.86, did I say 1.86, what was the number, 1.86, and let's say kilometers to miles, and there it is, isn't Google cool, that is 1.1557 and all that miles, there you go, okay, three down, two to go, number four, cereal box, 13 and a half inches high, 9 and a half inches wide, 3 inches long. What is the area of the bottom of the box? Well, let's see. Let's, we had a picture to help us see this. Oh, there's one. There's our box of tricks, which is actually my cereal of choice right now. I'm almost out, but okay. So let's fill in our numbers. We know this box is 13 and 1 half inches high. It is 9 and one half inches wide and three inches long. I don't know if that's actually accurate. Go measure a cereal box, see if that's about right. What is the area of the bottom of the box? So all we want is the bottom. So I don't really care about the whole box. All I care about is this bottom. Silly rabbit. This question's about area. Okay, so how can we find the area of the bottom? Well, it's just a rectangle because a box is a rectangular prism. So really we're saying what is 3 times 9.5? Or what is 3 times 9.5? So this is just a multiplication problem. What's 9.5 times 3? That would give us 15 and 28.5. And that's inches. That was almost too easy. I feel like I've missed a big part of this problem. Like the rabbit is tricking me. Look at his eyebrows. This rabbit's up to no good. Give him green eyes. Okay. I don't know. This seems right though. Let's say it's 28.5 inches. And that's area that should be inches squared. Okay. Four down, one to go. Alright, wheel spins at a rate of 41 revolutions per minute. How many revolutions per hour does it spin? So, we have a wheel, which is a circle. There it is. And what revolution means, it means it goes all the way around the outside. So, all revolutions means like you spin this wheel one time. So if it spins 41 times per minute, so every minute this spins 41 times. So how can we figure out how many times it would spin in an hour? Well, let's consider how many minutes are there in an hour. Well, one hour is 60 minutes. And if you didn't know that because you've been living under a rock, We could, ah, we could ask Google, Let's say one hour equals how many minutes? Come on, Google, help me out. Oh, maybe because I put one H, one hour equals 60 minutes, in case you didn't know. All right. So um, if it does this 41 times in one minute, and we want to know an hour, we want to know how many times we'll do it in 60 minutes. 
So how can we figure that out? This is again, this is just more multiplication problems. What is 41 times 60? Well, 0 times anything is 0. 60 times 1 is 60. 60 times 4 is 240. So how many times does it spin per hour? It should spin about 2,460 times per hour. And that's it. That's our homework. And I think I almost did it in 15 minutes. I wish I had. I wish I'd started a timer. Okay, whatever. Good night.